Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back to kick off the semi-finals for the Wicked Win Tournament, and yes, ooh, we get, actually this week will be the conclusion of the Wicked Win Tournament, so yes, another mini tournament will be starting soon, um, I'll put a vote in poll in the description when I post the final Wicked Win video, which will be this sometime this week. But anyway, our semi-final matchups here sees Rugops taking on Ceratosaurus, Neil Venator going up against Lillian Sternus, and Sejuangasaurus taking on Indosuchus. And well, I just have to say, this is such an open tournament. I have no clue who's going to win this tournament now. Like, I'm, I'm probably leaning towards one of these two winning because, you know, they are bronzes. But it, it, it could be any any of these six dinos have a chance. As, as they always do, but, you know, there always seems to be one that has more favourable odds. But, you know, I think this is such an open tournament. I could see any one of these six dinos winning. But, yeah, from six, we'll go... From six, we will drop down to three. So, let's get on with our first semi-final matchup, which sees... The Rugops taking on Ceratosaurus. Alright, then, in the red corner, we have... Well, the Rugops, of course... The Rugops have been mightily impressive, defeating the Afrobinator and defeating the Dilophosaurus on his path to the semis. And we've definitely seen what that Hurricane Beat can do. And if it gets off a Hurricane Beat in this matchup, then it will most likely win the matchup. But in the blue corner, we have the Ceratosaurus, the fan favourite in this tournament. Well, the, the fan favourite that's left. That Jet Shuriken Tech Boost combo could come in handy here. Ding, ding, ding. The Ceratosaurus defeating the Delta Dromius and defeating the. Uh, who else did it defeat? Um, I can't remember now. I literally just saw the table. But, you know, it, it defeated somebody. Oh, that's right, defeated the Utoraptor, I think. Another fan favourite. Well, the Ceratosaurus gets off the first hit and it's an atomic bomb. Boom! I mean, I, I'm sure I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I sh I will men I will say it again. The winner of this tour of this tournament will gain entry. Well, will be part of the team that I enter in my main tournament. Whenever I do it, I mean, unless I do more mini tournaments, which might might be like I mean, if I do the main tournament in August, then I'll probably only have time to do two mini tournaments. If it's in January, I'll have a lot more options. Well. Back to this matchup, the Ceratosaurus has just bought himself a 1-0 one, one lead. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? The Jet Shuriken there finishing off Rugops, and the Ceratosaurus looking mightily impressive, but it's still all to play for as it is a best of three. So, let's get on with round two. Um, how, how, how many of you are actually watching Blood Moon's tournament going on? Like, <laughs> I, I watched mine match yesterday, well, yesterday when I was recording this video. And, 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 yeah, 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 I, I don't like the, I don't like this random number generator fit. I don't like it how it works. I prefer true random number generators. Yeah, I got screwed over hard. I got, like, one hit in the whole match. Got a few times, and that's about it. Like, it was just not great at all. Well, I mean... Sorry about that, is they're doing work outside and <laughs> at the shut me window. Well, can the Rugops actually get a hit here? Or is the Serato gonna take a 2-0 win? Oh the oh oh well Ceratosaurus is dead. The hurricane beat coming from the Rugops is going to even the score. Since the Ceratosaurus is not going to survive this. I mean it might, but I don't think it will. Nope! And that makes it one apiece. Ooh, you know what that means. It all comes down to this final round. Right, as we was, round three. And it's all going to come down to this. Can the Rugops c come from behind to defeat the Ceratosaurus? Or can the Ceratosaurus pull away? And also we that the Ceratosaurus defeated Piantnitsky-saurus in the first round. Yeah. But can it defeat this Rugops? Or can the Rugops continue its momentum? Oh, that's a tie, and that's exactly what the Rugops wants. Although, saying that, Rugops did take a bit of damage there. Oh, oops. 
Okay, it doesn't matter, it's a time. But there's that tie defense type effect there. And we're gonna see it again. The Rugop's looking pretty good so far. That tie attack wearing down the Serato's health. Oh my god, is Serato's gonna die to ties? Well, the Brugox gets the first hit, and the Ceratosaurus is in a bit of a pickle. All those ties have worn its health right down in the red. But can the Ceratosaurus get a hit on Brugox? Oh, look at that! On the brink of defeat! And yet, yeah, that is game over for Ceratosaurus. The Brugox there, basically tie attacking him to death. Coming from behind to defeat the Ceratosaurus and book his place in the final. But who will join him? Well, let's find out in our next matchup, which sees the Neovenator taking on Lillian Sternus. Alright, then, in the red corner, we see the Neovenator. The Neovenator has, has had an impressive run in this tournament, defeating the Carnotaurus in the first round, and then getting past the Monolophosaurus in the quarters. And, well, in theory, this is the easiest matchup for it because in the blue corner, we have a Lillian Sturness. The Lillian Sturness has also had some fine victories in this tournament, defeating the Alpha Allosaurus in the first round, and then getting past the Eustrepta Spondylus in quite a one-sided display. But I'd probably say this will be his toughest fight in the tournament so far because the Neovenator has been mightily impressive. And, with a start like that, I think the Neo Venator is going to win this match. Yeah, look at that, half health gone already. And the Strength Deal Rush coming in to add extra damage. Not the start Lillian Sternus would have wanted, but exactly the start that Neo Venator would have liked. Ooh, but Lillian Sternus answers back with a crit of his own. And it's a Tornado Toss. So Neo Venator's going to be taking some damage. Oh yeah, I should also have a, another little update. The tier list, the Dinosaur King tier list, I'm, I've actually worked, I'm actually working on it. And I'm hoping I can get one out this week. I mean, if I don't, it'll probably be um, next week or something. But yeah, one Dinosaur King tier list should be coming soon. And it'll be the fired one. And I, I may even post the template on Discord, just so you guys can have a say as well. Anyway, back to this match. Oh, Neo Venator's dead. Well, the Lillian Sternus coming. Coming from behind after that shaky start to defeat the Neo Venator with consecutive tornado tosses. But don't count the Neo Venator out yet, kiddies. Because there's plenty more fighting to, ha to come. Let's move on with round two. Alrighty then. Round two here. Can the Neo Venator even the score? Or can the Lillian Sternus pull off a win? Bam and boom. The winner here will join the Rugops in the final three, where they will duke it out for the crown. Well, the Neo Venator opened with a crit last time and it didn't help. Will it help him this time? You know, the one thing I've noticed in these matchups is it's very quick. I mean, in comparison to the other tournaments I've done, these matches have gone really fast. There's the attack burst there from the Neo Venator. Not that I'll need it at this point, because any hit will kill the Dien Sternus. Oh, and speaking of hit, here comes the biting wind. Lillian Sternus not even laying a scratch on the Neo Venator as the Neo Venator evens the score. Which means it's all to play for in round three. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> As I said, it's so quick, these matches. You know, other matches have been, you know, back and forth, more, more war of attrition, but this time it's just quick strikes, dead. Right, on to our final round between these two. Alrighty then. Oh, well, we're on the volcanic field, which doesn't really suit these two guys, to be honest, because they're weak to fire. But which one of these little guys will join the Rugops in the final? Will it be Neo Venator or will it be the Lillian Sturness? 
Ooh, the Lillian Sturlis opening up with a hit this time. In the last two matchups, Neil Vinico opened up with a crit, but not this time. Oh, ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, we might have an interested fight this time. We might a, a more attritional fight. Oh, never mind. The Lillian Sturner's getting off that tornado toss. Big damage coming Neil Vinito's way. Oh, wow, almost killed it. And the Cyclone might just do it for Lillian Sturner's. Neil Vinito has to get the next hit here. Otherwise, he's dead and buried. Oh, he does get the next hit. The Cyclone effect has dissipated, and the Lillian Sterners misses its chance to book their place in the final. And the Tack Burst will definitely help Neo Veneto here. A crit from the Neo Veneto, and he will snatch this match. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, Neo Veneto, hanging on by a thread. And, and it's game over. The Lillian Sterners pulling it off again. A diving press coming in, and Lillian Sturness defeats the Neo Veneto and joins the Rugops in the final three. Wow. I bet I bet not many people would have betted on Lillian Sturness being in the final three. I mean some would bet on Rugops, because Rugops is pretty good. But Lillian Sturness, you know, last I know you would expect to be make it this far, but that's what I love about these tournaments. You never know what can happen. Just like in this next matchup where we'll see the rogue Sejuangosaurus taking on the unknown Indosuchus. Again, two other dinos I don't think anyone would have expected to get this far. But they are here and one of them is going to join the final three. And let's find out who it's going to be. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the purple predator itself, the Sejuangosaurus. This Sejuangosaurus has definitely been the big surprise in this tournament, along with many other big surprises, but this one in particular because it defeated the Megaraptor in the opening match, well, in its opening match, and it defeated the Majungasaurus in the quarterfinals. Also in the blue corner, we have the Indosuchus. Honestly, don't that sound like a high Jurassic World hybrid? The Indosuchus defeating Ace and the Alpha Dilophosaurus to book its place in the semis? Can it secure that final spot in the final? Or can a Sejuangosaurus pull out another win? Oh, the Sejuangosaurus gets the first hit. I'd probably say, no matter who gets through the hit, I'd probably say that the Rugops would be the red hot favourite. And I, I, I actually think Rugops is going to win. Well, that's a tie, but the Cyclone effect allows Sejuangosaurus to get off the crit. A strong start from the Purple Predator. Ooh, the Indosuchuso responding with his first hit of the match, and it's a critical one, and look at that damage. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered, which means that Indosuchus will need at least two hits to finish off Sejuangosaurus, as he gets off a Cyclone of his own. So that will help Indosuchus because he needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion quick. Well, the Dino Illusion has gone. But as I said, the Indosuchus needs at least one more hit to defeat the Sejuan. And I think the Sejuan may need two hits. So I'd probably say that Indosuchus is on top here. Is in the lead. Well, it's a hit, but it will not be enough to finish off Sejuanosaurus, even with that Tappy Jara die. Ooh, a Cyclone there would have all but ended this match. No Dino Illusion though, which means the Sejuangosaurus is in a heap of trouble. And yet, the Indosuchus, despite a slow start, comes from behind to defeat the Sejuangosaurus with a stomping hammer. Oh, <laughs> look at he tried to get up. Not that it needed it, it just needed any sort form of hit to win that matchup. But yep, the Indosuchus takes a 1-0 lead. But, as I said many times, it's still all to play for, so let's get on with round two. Alrighty then, here we go with round... This is round... Yeah, round two, round two. The Indosuchus in the lead, but can the Sejuangosaurus come from behind? 
I don't think it's had to come from behind before. Or maybe it did against the Majundasaurus. Well, I don't think the Indo Supers is that. Yeah, it died to Alpha died then. So, oh, for these combatants. Not, not safe yet. But we open up with a tie. Uh, tie is not really ideal for either of them. Maybe it'll suit Sejuan more because it's revival type. So yeah, I think Sejuanosaurus will be happier with a tie because it's revival type. But the Indo Sukas, however, not that comfortable with a tie. Sejuanosaurus has the lead, but can it keep it? I don't think it's going to because the Indo Sukas gets off a stomp in hammer. Hey, look, see, he tries to get up and escape, but the Indotsukas is having none of it. Ooh, the Dino Illusion, however, has been triggered, as has Cyclone. So I'd probably say even, despite the Dino Illusion, the Cyclone will help the Indotsukas get rid of that Dino Illusion. And yet, here comes the Cyclone effect. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't even get to see the thing. But the Dino Illusion there... Stopping it, and I'd probably say Indo Sukas is in the lead now. Because one crit will finish off the Sejuangosaurus. However, the Sejuangosaurus gets off the crit this time. And now I'd probably say it's even because one hit from this. Actually, I'd say the Sejuang's in the lead because any of its hits will kill Indo Sukas, but Indo Sukas needs to get a crit to kill Sejuang. And a crit is not what Indo Supers is getting. Instead, the Sejuangosaurus equalizes and keeps himself in the hunt for that final spot. Okay then, you know what that means? It's gonna all come down to this next round. Well, you all know what this means, it's all gonna come down to this. Which one of these two rogues has enough fuel left in the tank to secure that final spot? and join the Rugox and Lillian students. Oof. I don't know. I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna still go with Indosuchus. I still think Indosuchus will do it. But it's not gonna be easy. Well the tie will probably suit the Sejro more because as I said it's revival type. Ooh, however, that will suit the Indosuchus more. Opening crit with a tappy jar of dive. However, the Dino Illusion has been triggered, which means that Indosuchus will still need two hits at the least to kill the Sejuan. Ooh, but Sejuanosaurus gets a hit. Can the Sejuanosaurus fight back? And a Cyclone as well. Indosuchus still in the lead, however, as the Sejuan will probably need at least three, well, will need at least three hits to kill Indosuchus. Oh, there's our Cyclone effect. That means the Sejuangosaurus is going to get off a crypt. And now I'd say the Sejuangosaurus is in the lead because it, all it needs now is a crit and it will advance to the finals. Indosuchus really needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion fast. Otherwise, he will be going home. Oh, the Sejuang has done it. Oh, I forgot about Lillian Cure. Yeah, the Sejuangosaurus, the purple rogue of the wind dinosaurs, has booked his place in the final. Wow. Like, the Indosuchus, a valiant effort there, but unfortunately it just fell short and could not get rid of that dino illusion. Wow. Well, I'm going to update the table and we're going to end the session. Well, I declare you a psychic person if you if you anticipated that the final three would have been that those three. I mean, Rugops is probably the least surprise. Well, is the least surprising because it is it would it is capable of going going all the way in. Lillian Sternus and Sejuangosaurus, so like I don't think anyone would have. Can't be honest, I don't think any of you expected to see these two in the final three. Well, the favourite has to be the Rukovs, but, you know, if I learned anything from this tournament, is to not count that as fact. You know, I would say the Rukovs is a red-hot favourite here, but, you know, the way this tournament has gone, I wouldn't be surprised if any, if either of these two win it. But I think with the way the matches have gone, I do think Rukovs will win it, because it does have that huge crit damage, 
and especially these two with very low health as well, well the lowest health you can get you know one crit from the Rugops, even if it's not Hurricane, be, will be devastating. And well, Rugops has faced Thousand Strength Wind Dinosaurs before in this tournament, as it faced the Dilo in the first round and pummeled it into oblivion. And well, the Lillian Sternus is more attacking, so I'd probably say that these two. I don't know, I think the Sejuan would have a better chance against Rugops because of the Dino Illusion. I mean, Lillian Stern is more, is more focused on attack, whereas Sejuan is more technical, it has the Cyclone, it has the Dino Illusion. So I think Sejuan would stand a better chance against Rugops, but Lillian Stern is probably not so much. But yeah, that is our final three, ladies and gentlemen. And well, who do you think is going to win out of that three? I mean, I'm going to say Rugops. I think Rugops is just going to have a bit too much for these two to handle. And that Hurricane Beat will do a serious amount of damage if it gets it off. So I'm going to say Rugops. But, you know, as we've seen in this tournament already, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise if one of these two won it. Okay, how the final three will work? Well, I'll explain it in, in the actual final video. So, yeah, that's been the semi-final of the Wicked Win tournament. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new and subscribe, feel free to do so. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. Oh